John Shami, Chris Singleton with you. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away, towing the slab in today's game. Jonathan Cannon. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Next offering is in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. The line of the pitch. Got him swinging. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. So now it's Corey Seager. Clobbered to right field, way back, gone! A solo shot. Home run number 30 on the year. And the Rangers take the lead. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. One out, base is empty. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. One down, base is empty. Right field, down the line, and that one slices foul. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 0-2 now. And that one missing low. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Batting four, the right fielder. Adoles. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Garcia. Throw over to first. No, he saved. Strike hey. on the outside. And it's 0 and 1. And he deals. That well, one inside. And one and one. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Garcia started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Two and one now. Now fly ball to right center. Sizing this one up. 
And there are two outs. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. One of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now. It's built to do damage, and they got some guys that can punish the baseball, Chris. It's so fun to watch these guys take their at-bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at-bats away, but really pitches away. Very aggressive, competitive in the zone, and when they connect, there's usually some loud noise to it, so we'll keep our ears open today. Josh Young in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a line drive to left field. And it's into the gap. Grossman around second, headed for third. Coming home. He will score. And they take a two-run lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And it's scored position with two away. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And here it comes. And there's the strike. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's three zip. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Wyatt Lankford stepping in for the Rangers. Line drive. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. So they get three runs on four hits. One was the solo homer. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Rangers three and the White Sox coming to bat. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the mound in this one, Nathan Evaldi. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, Leading allow him to move into shot. the middle and deeper not part of ball shot. games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. The pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. That's in there, and now it's even one and one. That to right. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Singy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these guys even during batting practice when it doesn't matter, they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, he steps right in and continues with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. Out to short, Seeger. Now the throw to first on the run, and they got him. You know, you translate on base percentage, it's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, 
They don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Sheehan says, OBP is life. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. First pitch misses. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And the pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Two out spaces empty. Just off the outside part of the plate. And there's ball four. ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Andrew Vaughn now. Just missed. Next offering is down low. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. Next offering upstairs. In there at the knees for a strike. Thank you. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs. Headed down the line. Garcia really on his horse for this one. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. The White Sox leave one. They trail it here. Three nothing. at guaranteed rate field second inning the set to go now here is Jonah, Jonah Heim Hi. the right hander back to work now one close rule the ball and that is ball one Singh, he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Lifted in the air, right field. Jokes makes the play. One down. Batting done. The third baseman. Ezekiel Next up Durant. for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. Way to go, White Sox! In the air, right field. On the move towards foul ground. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two down. The batter number two, second baseman. Here is Marcus Simeon. His first at bat was a strikeout. On, Headed towards the corner. And he makes the catch. And that is that.
here on the south ready side, go. ready to go shot. for the last half of the, the inning. And base. here's the first baseman, yeah. Gavin Sheets. Jeez. Here comes a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. And a pitch. And nope. takes low for ball one. Just one one. missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. This one in the air. Seeger settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one that away. Exists. The second baseman, Leonard Sosa. And here is Sosa to the plate. He swings and fouls one off. The Rangers leading by three. Bottom half of inning number two. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Ball, two strike. The pitch. That's outside. outside. Now one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Let's go, White Sox! Kicks and fires. Bows it off, still one and two. One out, base is empty. And it skips in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Three. Got him looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now with the play, Dominic Fletcher. Right through there for a strike. On the ground. To first, and the White Sox go quietly. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail in this one, three nothing. Top half of the third inning, and here's Corey Seeger to hit. Seeger, 29 years old, a former first round pick back in 2012. The shortstop no takes the ball. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And gone. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 4-0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. It can be pretty dangerous when you fall behind in the count 2-0. You've still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there, and the hitter did a nice job of turning that pitch around, not missing it in a hitter's count. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. And a good eye there.
Left field. Ben Intendi ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Up next for the Rangers, the right fielder. So now it's Adoles. the four hole hitter, Adolis Garcia. Garcia. He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. And there's a ball. One ball, two strikes, account. Strike. And he chases that one. That's out number two. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Josh Young. Doubled his first time up. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's in for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Swings through that one out in front one that time. Two Clearly strikes. was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. 2-2. Two -two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Benintendi makes the catch in and go. Texas extends the lead with the solo shot. It's now a 4-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here on the south Leading side, the and here right is side. Miguel Vargas. Third baseman, Miguel Vargas. Right and the right hander back to work. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. And that one fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Strike two. That split is a pretty nasty one pitch. Ball. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. And ball another two. ball. Two balls, two strikes. Next Three pitch ball, is outside. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really Batting locked nine. him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Nabs it. And there's two away. Shortstop, Nicky. Lopez. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Nicky Lopez. And a strike in there. The Rangers leading by four here in the last half of the third. Gets him to chase after that one. No ball, two strikes. Two outs. 
starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Righty to the plate. And that one is inside. Next pitch is downstairs. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after double in the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Kicks and deals. Just off the outside edge. Three balls and a strike. Hard on the ground to first. Sheets takes it himself. One up, one down. Now batting, left fielder, Wyatt. Wyatt Lankford stepping in for the Rangers. He's 0 for 1. And he grounds one to the right side. And foul ball. Here's your one. Oh, look at the stop. Throws from his knees. Nicely done for the out. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. Two outs, base is empty. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. That one missed. Two down, nobody on. Pass ball for a strike. Yeah, the count one and two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Rangers set down in order. But they're in front for nothing. And we're back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Corey Jolks. pitch that's in there it's 0 and 1 swing and a miss and that's strike two well you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider if you're on the mound you just want to expand the zone right now get a swing and miss and get through this at bat ball one there Next pitch, not Two close, strikes. up high. Slider misses outside. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Foul, 
we'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The wind in the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Durant under this one. He makes the grab. One up, one down. The left fielder, number 23, Andrew. Ben intending to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. That one finds the zone. Oh, one, one. one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. And they've got their first run. It's 4-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So one out, nobody on. So now it's the White Sox DH, Andrew Vaughn. Swings here and blasts one left field. Stretches out and hauls it in. Now batting, the first baseman. So up Gavin. next for Chicago, Gavin Sheets. Jeez. First time up was a pop out. That's hard hit in the line. Garcia snags it. And that is the third out of the inning. White Sox draw a bit closer thanks to this home run. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now here is Ezekiel Duran. Cannon back to work. High fly ball out to left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open two. instead of staying closed. If he does that, Marcus. he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Simeon, the next to hit, takes ball one. one Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next offering upstairs. Come back into the mound. And Simeon is out. The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey. Two outs, space is empty. So next to hit for Texas, Corey Seeger. Strike on the inside corner, and it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. Swing Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And they'll do it again. One that ball. one not close. <laughs> and it's one and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there are some times where pitchers would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. He goes down looking. Rangers go down quickly there as they hold on to a 4-1 lead.
We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. The pitch. And that one is inside ball one. And the righty deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the right hander deals. And another ball. And a pitch. Stays alive. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really nope, try to exploit them if they can Fletcher in the ball box one, with no one fight. away as he takes ball one the White Sox trailing by three last half of inning number five on the ground right side the flip to the pitcher covering. Old man for the fifth inning moving the along. Battle. Two quick outs. The third baseman, Miguel Vargas. Miguel Vargas now at the plate. Caught looking his first time up. Swing it a foul straight back. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Oh, and now it's time. even up. Bounce to the left side, and that's oh, that's just foul. foul. Two down, nobody on. And downstairs. Next offering misses down and away. Goes the high heat past them. That's a strikeout. Down in order go the White Sox. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Now on the bump, Garrett Crochet. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year. So this should be fun to watch. And now the center fielder, Robbie Grossman. The wind of the pitch. Crochet, a tall lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a changeup, and he works in a slider. And he deals. Well, and that's outside. Good. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Sheets makes the grab one down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look now, really now. good coming in, but so hard Adolis. to get on top of as a hitter. Garcia. Now it's going to be Adolis Garcia. Splits the plate, strike one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. One down, base is empty. 
Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. The 0-2. And that's a little bit high. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. Right now. That two one balls, well upstairs. And the count is two and two. Oh, Way ball. inside, gets out of the way. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. Ow. Oh. Two away now after the drop third strike. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Young. Two outs. Space is empty. Josh Young digs in now. Ball and that's inside. off. The inside edge, and that's ball one. Two outs. Right side, hard hit. Sends it over to Sheets, and that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rangers four and the White Sox one. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the White Sox catcher, number 47. Jackie Robinson. The pitch. Just missed. That one fouled off. On the ground to third, and that one finds its way through. And that turns the lineup over. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And immediately pumps in a strike oh, to the left-handed hitter. Right there. I got one ball, one strike. The Rangers leading by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's gonna be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. He keeps it down. It's just so tough to put wood on. So up next, Corey Jolts. Swings and misses. That's strike one. for a strike. Man at first one away. Wouldn't oh. chase that time.
breaking ball inside. And the count's even at two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Ben Attendee up here. He's already homered in this game. Hey, he takes a strike. one fastball for a strike well this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity it's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on but you can't get him into scoring position they're gonna need a big knock try to put something up on the board one and ball. now one two and strike. two That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Right-hander kicks deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And the pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Swing and a miss. And he got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Back at guaranteed rate field. Top of inning number seven. And now Nathaniel Lowe. Crochet back to work. Just missed. Outside low. Now 2-0. That's in there. And that one popped to short. One away. Now batter, the left fielder, Wyatt Langford. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Langford. This one in the air right field, jokes. Sizes this one up, drops into the glove, two away. The catcher, number 28, Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim will hit next. And there's a foul ball. The lefty fires. Fought off foul. The 0 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. Ball and one. ball one. fly ball down the left field line. Benintendi going back on it. And that one is out of here. 
is 12th of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Up next for the Rangers, Ezekiel Duran. Up the middle. Throws to first, third out. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 5-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Andrew Vaughn. And here it comes. The beauty of his skill set as a pitcher is the break in his stuff doesn't go away when he's tired. I mean, his pitches always seem to have life. Just doesn't matter if it's early or late. He doesn't make it easy for the batter. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these no hitters have been strike. in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And one away yeah. in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting. The first baseman, Gavin. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball there. Right. Up the middle, Seeger tosses to first. Yeah. And a couple of quick outs. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. And next to hit for the Sox, Lennon Sosa, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. That one ripped left field. And it hits the fence. Around first, heading for two. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. So a man aboard. Here's the center fielder, Dominic Fletcher. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. 0 and 1. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs and one in scoring position. High fly ball out to center field. And that is that. So one left for the White Sox. They're down here five to one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Number 60. He last pitched two days ago. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The 0 for 3. The a fly out, a ground out, and a Marcus strikeout. Simeon. And a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizing this one up. Calls it in, and there's one away. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. 
The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey <laughs> Now it's Corey Seager. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Just missed. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Kai Bush appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Varland, a right-hander, loosening up as well. That misses off the outside edge. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Here's the 2 2. And another ball. Lined in the left center, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside what part out? of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Grossman stands in here, takes ball one low. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next offering upstairs. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 2 2. And there's a ball. Outside, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's now been bad. part of his career since day one. Adoles. So Garcia. first and second with one man gone. Adolis Garcia, the next to hit. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. To first, might be two. One at second. Out. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. So one hit is all they get. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rangers five and the White Sox one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. David Robertson. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. So digging in, Leading Miguel off. Vargas. White Sox. The, the White Sox baseman. in striking Miguel. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Robertson, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. And That's now the ball. count is even. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. Come on. Lifted in the air, right center field. Grossman settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. 
as a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that, you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Number 47, batting with one down, takes a strike. Action in the pen down there. Grant Anderson up and loosening in the pen. The White Sox down by four here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is downstairs. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. Nope, it gets on them a little through. bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. One down, base is empty. Little bouncer out in front of the plate, and that chance handled. Yet he beats he's the safe. throw. He's safe. Nicky Lopez now at the plate. That one catches the corner. To third. And there's a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Corey Jones steps to the plate for the White Sox. First pitch, just misses. Kicks and fires. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One and two here. Chop to the left side. Duran. Got him. He's out. Who gets a good at bat simply because they found a way to move both runners up a base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs, two in scoring position. And another ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Andrew Vaughn waiting for a turn at the plate. And a pitch. And a four-pitch walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. A game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And now, Andrew Vaughn. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. The tying run at the plate. 
Little chopper rolls foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that will end the inning. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. Through eight full, it's the Rangers five and the White Sox one. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Gus Barlin. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. One for three. Josh Young. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Farlin, 27 years old. They got him off of waivers earlier this season. Swings through that one for strike two. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Swing and a miss, struck him out. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. A good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. Sends it over to Sheets. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now batting, left fielder. Two outs, Wyatt. base is empty. Langford. Here's the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. Right through there for a strike. <laughs> And it's oh, one and one. Go, Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rangers five and the White Sox one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Andrew Heaney. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. And now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. The first baseman, Gavin Sheets. As the lefty gets to work. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, he didn't miss by much right there, but it was just enough to flip him on the way in. Next to hit, Lennon Sosa. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. That's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. The Rangers leading by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Garcia makes the grab one away. The center fielder, number seven, Dominic Fletcher. He's two outs away. Dominic Fletcher getting ready to hit. We need a base hit here. And first offering is fouled off. The White Sox down by four here in the last half of inning number nine. Let's go, Sox. Come on, Sox. You can do it. Kicks and deals. That oh, just misses. 
ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And ball. another ball. Ground ball could be two. On to Simeon. And it's a double play to end the ball game. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for this team today. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from the south side of Chicago.